Hey there YouTube fans, how you going man? I'm in my favourite filming spot here. Um, it's a really sunny day here in Queensland, Australia. Our winter and I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> um, Alright, so I've been talking about somatotypes the last few days in my videos. What is a somatotype? Well, there are three basic types of frame that a person has, okay? You have your ectomorph, your mesomorph, and your endomorph. So an ectomorph is the person who's naturally thin. You know, they walk around, they can't put weight on, they're skinny all the time. You know the people I'm talking about. I think Pee Wee Herman, people like that. Then you have your mesomorphs, which are in the middle. They're genetically blessed. Um, they... The ectomorphs, for example, that we're talking about, they find it hard to put on weight. They can't, can't put on muscle as well. It's very hard for them. They have to have a lot of calories and keep those calories up all the time. And then there's a the mesomorphs. They're very lucky. They can put on muscle and they can keep lean. So people like um, Christian Bale, apparently, people like that are... Uh, mesomorphs, you know, Batman, uh, Ben Affleck, Ben Affleck, those those guys that play the superheroes. And then you have somebody like me who's about 77% endomorph and about 22% or whatever it is of mesomorph, basically on the end of the of the scale around the meso, uh, the endomorph side. With us, we can put on muscle. And we can, but we put on fat as well, and we have to always uh, watch our weight. And what they were saying from my research um, for somebody like me is you should have more of a high protein, low fat, low carbohydrate type of diet. And the last few days it seems to have been working. The, the let's go back to the ectomorphs, they can kind of eat whatever they want, whenever they want, although it doesn't necessarily mean that they're healthy inside, right? Um, and the, the mesomorphs, they can put on weight and lose weight. It's a perfect bodybuilding uh, genetics to have. You know, it is a spectrum. People don't exactly fit on one end of the spectrum or on the other. Um, and I think how it's important is... I think you need to eat and train and and work on your body thinking about your somatotype in mind. Um, I think it's important for your diet and your exercise to do that. And as with anything I say to you, check with your doctor before you do anything, okay? Um, so you can... You can one of the ways that you can test whether you're a mesomorph, endomorph, ectomorph, whatever the percentages you are, is to measure um, things like your wrist and things like that. So if you can see my wrist here, I can't actually fit my thumb and my forefinger together, close together. See, there's a gap there, and that is um, an indicator of like a uh, an endomorph's frame and for example I think if you can touch your your fingers together and this is not an exact science you could you would be a mesomorph and then um, I guess you're kind of overlapping if you're an ectomorph but there are online tools that you can use to find out what your somatotype is that's not what this video is all about it's basically an introduction to those three types of um, those three types of frames that a person has it was interesting um, and, and men and women both can have these three different types of frames uh, I remember in um, what is it uh, Get to Mars that film with Arnold Schwarzenegger where he's on Mars somebody can tell me it's Recall, Total Recall I think it is, Total Recall yeah um, she was saying, what type of woman do you like? And she was saying, athletic, voluptuous. You know, so if you're an athletic woman, you would be uh, a mesomorph, more than likely. And if you're voluptuous, 
or a BBW, you would be an endomorph. Um, and then uh, I don't think she mentioned in that film, you know, the really thin, um, like some of these supermodels, um, they would be probably ectomorphs. All right, I hope that helps somebody out there. Um, I'm going all right. Just uh, went to the gym today, and the low-dose naltrexone is helping me a little bit. Um, it's not perfect. There's no cure for... I've got fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, and I've felt quite fatigued today, but it uh, could be worse. And um, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. God bless. Teach yourself out.